Well, it's been great doing all of your tests in the wind tunnel and one of the most asked questions, specifically during the beard versus no beard video, was whether or not shaved legs are faster. So the question's been asked for years and there are all the reasons why people shave their legs. What have we heard? So we've heard them all. Um, massage is one big one, but come on, how many of you guys are getting massage out? You're right. If you are, you're lucky. Yeah. And another big one is uh, healing after crashes. That's pretty you, legitimate. Unfortunately, you've been testing that during your race season. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, we actually had one person say conformity and tradition, so they were honest at least. <laughs> and uh, my personal favorite was it feels good in the sheets uh, the night that you do it. So. <laughs> and mine, that the ladies absolutely love it. But anyway, we're at a wind tunnel, so we're here to finally put to bed. Is shaving your legs faster or not? So for today's test, we're gonna work with Keith. Now Keith's a solid six on the Chewbacca scale, so fairly dense follicles, but it uh, lightens up as you get into the knee. Now, Keith, you don't usually shave your legs, right? No, can't say I ever have, but let's do it, first time. So all in pursuit of science. Now, we have tested across the entire spectrum of Chewbacca scale, from about a four to a nine, all kinds of different athletes. We're gonna pass it over to Chris to talk about how we've run that test and how we're gonna run the test today. Normally when we test, we'll test a baseline and then we'll make a change and then we'll go back to the baseline to verify that change. With uh, shaving legs, it's pretty much impossible to do that. We can't really put the hair back on. Um, so instead, we'll actually test Keith 10 separate times. And in between each time we test him, we'll actually have him get off the bike and get back on. And in between, we actually have a camera set up at different angles to make sure that when he's back on the bike, he's back into the same position each and every time. First things first, Keith, how did it feel in there? You know, it was noticeable from uh, my hairiness. I felt a lot of rustling on my pedal strokes. And then we got rid of it. I jumped back in there and just gliding silky smooth. <laughs> So I am still shocked at how big of a difference it actually was. So for Keith, over a 40 kilometer distance, it was actually 82 seconds saved, nearly a minute and a half, huge. So he was actually on the high end of the six athletes that we've tested. On the low end, we saw a saving 50 seconds, but still on average, that represents about 70 seconds saved just from shaving to not shaving. A huge, huge difference. And to put it in perspective, that difference is basically like going from a traditional round tube frame all the way to something like a bench. Huge difference. Now, Keith, knowing all of that, are you going to keep shaving them? Uh, depends on what the girlfriend thinks. <laughs> it's the bottom line. So we get a ton of questions about what the most surprising thing is that happens in the wind tunnel. We've run about 1,200 hours worth of experiments over the last year, so quite a bit of data, and no questions asked. This whole shave leg data set has been the most surprising revelation. And honestly, we've been wanting to test this for the longest time, but we just didn't believe that it was a big enough difference to be able to measure it. But clearly, after testing six athletes, it's a huge difference. So we have to give a big shout out to Jesse Thomas. He's one of our pro sponsored triathletes. It's probably the craziest. When he showed up to his test about maybe six months ago, he said, we gotta shave this forest and, and test it. We did awesome results, and we've been obsessed with body hair since, so thanks to Jesse on that. And thank you all for watching. Please continue to send in your questions through Facebook and Twitter, tagged with Arrows Everything.